start with some weekends. I got the uh, Topspin 3 for the Wii. And Boom Blocks. I do have the, uh, there's a party mode one of these as well. Really overlooked game. And got Lego Indiana Jones to go to my my Lego collection. And we have Tamagotchi, Party On, Bandai Namco, I think, or maybe just a Bandai game. And we have some Xbox 360 games. We got the uh, Ace Combat, Salt Horizon. Haven't tried yet, so you can see it's still sealed, but a lot of people are giving it crap. But uh, I'll give it a go. See if it's any good. And Viva Pinata. Should be a good game. Made by Rare. <laughs> Who knows? And what else do we have? We have Max Payne 3. I've been playing this a lot. It's a really, really good game. Mm, has kind of the feel of the old Max Payne games. But a lot of new different stuff as well. The uh, I'm actually finding myself missing the uh, the cartoon uh, segments. Or whatever, whatever you want to call them. Kind of newspaper cartoon. And Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now I'm only missing Rogue for the old the old content. Which I'll get when it gets cheaper in price. This was really cheap as well on cables. And have something I hardly ever find. A GameCube game! As you, you can probably see it, it's it's horrible water damage on the cover. It's Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Didn't even know they made these for, uh, for the GameCube. And get some PlayStation 2 games. A Manhunt. I have the second one of these. For the, uh, the Wii. I think it, it also came out on the PS2. Good Rockstar game. And we have another Rockstar game. Midnight Club 3. Haven't actually tried it yet. But I tend to like their racing games. Should be good. And. Still feed. I <laughs> haven't uh, seen this before at all. And it's. I don't really see that. It's a shooter, like a smup, and I didn't even know those existed other than like on the compilation discs for the PlayStation 2. But uh, apparently, they made this. It's it's the same name as uh, it's, it's a Sega CD game for that name. Not sure if it's exactly the same people who made it, but it looks a lot like it. So could be. Have another Ace Combat. I really like those game, these games. Um, I have the, the, I think it's called Ace Combat 2 for the PlayStation 1 as well. So that's a really great game, so I'm looking forward to, to playing some of this. If I'm not gonna start on the Xbox 360 one. Then I got the uh, Raiga, or however you wanna pronounce it. I'm missing its manual, unfortunately. And so is Ace Combat. And Seven Samurai. Looks like a Japanese RPG thingy. Haven't tried yet. And Bot's Tale. <laughs> I've been looking for this, but but for the um, the Xbox, the original Xbox. I'll, I'll I'll grab it on the PlayStation 2. And for the PlayStation 3, Heavy Rain. Move Edition, which makes no sense because I just turned it off and used the regular control. Uh, kind of hard to get into. I played a little bit but it just seemed like oh, going very very slowly. I will give it another try I'm sure. Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Well it, it's just a prologue but it's still good. Still Gran Turismo. And then I got something I normally never show. I got 
Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. PSP, UMD Movie. This movie actually holds out, holds up pretty well to this day. The, the graphics, of course, dated. For the time, it was really amazing. And I got the DVD version as well. This is like an an extra edition. That's a lot of extra bonuses on it, as you can see. I got it mostly for that because I have the I have the uh, the DVD already with it. And another Final Fantasy DVD. I think this came with one of the games, like it, like seven for the PC or something. Seventeen. I'm not sure. Looks pretty good though. And I got Grand Theft Auto, Town of Town Wars, with the, the Nintendo DS, only GTA game ever to come out on a Nintendo platform, I believe. I was looking for the PSP version of this instead because the, the controls on the on the original DS is not very good for this kind of game. Haven't tried yet though, so it might it might surprise. And I got another Nintendo Dogs. I think I have all of them now. Maybe missing one or something. Just kind of Nintendo's big seller in the beginning, I guess. Or system seller, whatever you want to call it. Before new Super Mario Bros. came out. And we got Geometry Wars Galaxies. I have this for the Wii as well. I just thought it would be nice to have it for the. For the DS. And now we get to something. I made a deal with one of one of my friends. He traded me some games and I got I traded him some Wii games, primarily I think it was. And a few PS2 games. And I got from here I got Yakuza 2. This is actually a really really fun game. And it's really nice because it's Japanese voice only. I'm really looking forward to playing some more of this. And what else did I get from him? I got first Tomb Raider. The PS1. I have this for my Saturn as well, so I'm gonna be doing a comparison video of this. I have Wipeout as well as well for both uh, the original Wipeout and uh, but for both the uh, Saturn and and uh, PlayStation, not really sure which one of them I should start with. I like both of the games, so. And I got some more games from him. I got something I've been looking for quite some time. I never seem to find original Xbox games, so he hooked me up with Jet Set Radio Futures, which is um, kind of a, a weird game, but it's really fun. It's made for the Dreamcast originally, but it's not on the Dreamcast, we've just got Jet Set Radio. I'm not sure, there might be some extra features and stuff in here, that's just for the, the, the original Xbox. And last but not least, he look, hooked me up with uh, Panzer Dragoon Auto. I've been playing this game like a madman. It's, it's totally awesome. Unfortunately, there's not that many stages in it though, but there's tons of stuff you can unlock. So really, really... Really nice game. Unfortunately, it's not cheap to buy on eBay. I think actually going up quite a bit. Same the Jet Set Radio. And I believe that was all I got from him. Yes. And then I picked up some more PS1 games myself. Raven, the Raven Project, as it's called. Okay, just not too great condition. Who cares? Whenever I see these like double cased PlayStation games, I always pick them up. Unless the sport game. I got Medal of Honor Underground. I think this is the second Medal of Honor game that came out for the PlayStation. I know the first one is really highly regarded. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Not sure when I'll get the time though. And Command Conquer Red Alert. I love Red Alert on all the platforms. And it's just one of the best strategy games ever made my opinion. Um, and it has a great storyline, it's really cheesy and everything. And now we come to... 
got a Game Boy game. A single Game Boy game. Breakthrough. It's kind of a Tetris clone. Made a lot of. Because Tetris sold really well for the system. And then I got... Ten eighty snowboarding. I had it, had it, um, but I just uh, I got the box and everything, the manual stuff, for pretty cheap. So I got a really nice one for my shelf, and something I've been looking for for some time as well. I think I mentioned it in another video. Shadow Man for the N sixty four. It's not the definitive version. I think um, from what I can hear. On forums, as I read on forums and some stuff, the um, the PC version is still the best one to get, or maybe the Dreamcast version. But as long as you have the expansion pack, I mean, it's it's a really great game. Kind of bizarre, but whatever. There's not that many of those types of games on the uh, the N64. And I got a single NES game, Solar Jetman. Which is a rare game, made by Rare. Kind of a, a weird spaceship game where you need to pick up spare parts for your big spaceship in your little space part. Tough game, but really fun. Used a lot of hours already on that. And I was really, really lucky. And I got myself. A Sega Master System 2. This is my, well, it's not my first Sega console because you saw that I got a Sega Saturn, but it's the first cartridge based one. And this is the one with the Sonic the Hedgehog built in. So that's that's just perfect for me. Problem with these is, I can show it here, right here. They only have RF out. Maybe I've turned it around, but who cares? And that's a pain in the ass. You can easily get it to work on most TVs because uh, an, an analog um, receiver is built in in most TVs these days. But the quality is just oh, the quality is not good. <laughs> so I've, I've been looking to get um, either the converter for the Mega Drive or yeah, maybe a model one of these. They're a bit more bulkier and stuff, but they can get they read the cards and then they. Uh, they have a, a normal out as well. I don't know why they made this. I didn't didn't include that. And it came with some some games. I got Batman Returns. Pretty good game for it, if you ask me. And Tecmo World Cup, it's a football game, which is completely outdated these days. And we have Gold Max, which is probably the worst of the arcade game. See this is a bit of like They're of course yeah well used but did you expect and it came with Super Space Invaders which is basically just Space Invaders <laughs> if you ask me and Space Invaders is always a fun game. I've been looking forward for the uh, for the NES but I'm not really sure that it came out as an official one from Taito. In the NES, but, well, maybe, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. And Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Uh, I used to play this a lot on my older media. I had no idea it was ported to any other system. So getting it uh, <laughs> here with this system was just a nice surprise. And I've been playing it a lot, but I completely forgot how hard it is. It's like a merciless platforming game. And I ended up buying some games myself because I just wanted a few more games for it because it's not that many games. I got Gold Max again. But I got this because now I have it complete. Pure and simple. And it was cheap. Most of the Master game uh, yeah, Master System games are actually pretty cheap. And I got being cheap, I got this for basically what it cost to send me. Aztec Adventure, and it is in insanely good shape compared to the others. 
I mean, the others are kind of worn out and stuff, but still really well protected. I'm not really sure what kind of game this is. Some kind of adventure game, maybe. Not really sure. Gonna have to try it out later. When I have the time for it. And I got another game I played on my Amiga. Ooh, the Bitmap Brothers made some good stuff. Senon 2. Mega Blast, but it is essentially just Senon 2. Uh, and some great music. And I believe this was actually made on the Amiga, programmed on the Amiga. And then ported over. One of the best smops I've played in a long time. It actually works really well on the system. You can, you can see that it has some slowdown from time to time because it's too much for the system to handle, I think. But uh, I would have loved to have seen it out on the Mega Drive instead. That would have been so much better. Fun thing about this is, I believe it is the only smop game I've seen where you can actually get, um, get your spaceship to scroll back through the level. You don't go forward, you actually go slowly back, so you can maneuver around obstacles and stuff. And there might have been other, because there was a lot of smops back in the day for, for systems like the Amiga and, and this one, I believe, as well. And then I rescued something from the trash. Something where I could not believe my eyes when I saw it. It's the Sega Multi Mega. Holy crap! <laughs> I nearly shit myself when I saw this. And uh, the lady told me that uh, oh, that was just going uh, to the trash. It was in a, a big box with a lot of uh, let's let's call them trashable items. And it is kind of worn out. You see, it's missing one of its feet there, and it's worn out. But it actually works. I finally got the cables for it the other day, and it actually works. Uh, I cleaned the. Uh, the CD reader, uh, the laser head for it, and it works. It's an amazing system. And these things on eBay are going for crazy amounts. Crazy, crazy amounts. Uh, if, if you don't know, I can explain what it actually is. It's a Sega Mega Drive. You can plug in your Mega Drive games here. And it's a Oh, it actually says here, and it's like a CD, or Mega CD, was known in Europe. It only has one small problem with it, well, it's kind of worn here as well, it's not a real problem, but I'm, get, I'm getting a kind of a humming sound on the, um, uh, when I use the, uh, the AV out, but it has an, an, an external out here as well, when I plug that in, the sound is crystal clear. So I'm, it might be some kind of short or something. It could be the cable as well, but I did buy. I had to buy a completely new cable for it because I didn't have a cable and a power supply, of course. But I don't know. I might be having. To, I might have to take it completely apart to clean it, but uh, it shouldn't be necessary. I'm gonna see what I can do about it. But I got it basically for free, you know, to help uh, help her get rid of her garbage. I cannot believe this would have ended in the trash. So, so sad. So, let me know if uh, you saved anything from the trash in the comments. And see you next time.